Friends, we're, we're again looking at the book of Proverbs. Uh, we're on chapter 26, but you know, the Bible makes very clear in many different places that we have patterns of thought that are out of accord with the will of God according to his commandments, you know. And the, these things lead us into more and more trouble. So we see that in a lot of different places. But here we get to examine this idea of folly and what it means to be foolish, the, the non-wisdom of foolishness. And we, we see some of the contours of this ugly lifestyle that too often we've fallen into, fallen into. So here it, it says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. See the, the danger there of getting involved in a conversation with a fool uh, that would go along with his folly? Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. See, it says first, answer not a fool according to his folly, then answer a fool according to his folly. Apparently, folly and relationships with fools relationships with people that are going the pathway of non-wisdom are, are complex, very difficult. It's hard to even know what the right thing is to do. Uh, like a lame man's legs, which hang useless, is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Here's another one. Like one who binds the stone in the sling is one who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes up into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. So, if you're counting on people being able to read a proverb, understand wisdom, and act in accord with it, to give a good um, message, and to receive honor, none of this works with non-wisdom, with folly. Uh, so many here. It says, like a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool who repeats his folly just keeps on going back to the same mess. Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? There's even more hope for a fool than for him. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, see, the danger here is that we could look at a chapter like this, and there's so much more here, but look at a chapter like this and say, oh, glad I'm not like that. But instead, we ought to be able to have the same kind of spirit that we see in Psalm 73. Remember uh, this psalm of Asaph? And it, it says, when my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, I was brutish and ignorant. I was like a beast toward you. In other words, we have to be able to say sometimes, Lord, I've just been a fool. What was it that was going on in Psalm 73? Well, he, the man was envious of the wicked. And that's foolish. That's just foolish. And and what was the answer? He came into the sanctuary and he got things straight again. He got, you know, got got wisdom instead of non-wisdom. Well, let's go back now to Proverbs 26. It's interesting. There are a few things that are mentioned here um, that are specifics of foolishness. For instance, meddling. Whoever meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a passing dog by the ears. All right, like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I, I'm only joking. See, this, this bad way of behavior. How about also a whisperer, someone who's continually uh, passing on little tidbits. It, it, it says, where there is no whisperer, quarreling ceases. The words of a whisperer are like delicious morsels. They go down into the inner parts of the body. Um, also, so we've, we have a meddler, we have a, a whisperer. Uh, how about somebody who, who's just full of hate? That can easily happen. It says, says this, uh, like the glaze covering an earthen vessel are fervent lips with an evil heart. Whoever hates disguises himself with his lips and harbors deceit in his heart. See, these are deep, deep things, deep problems of, of evil, and we might tend to minimize them, but they're foolishness. And what you know what it means? Last, last one here is, whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. See, 
with these behaviors, we're digging a pit for ourselves. Now, a couple quick comments. First of all, we've been foolish. Let's just admit it and repent. We've said foolish things. We've done foolish things. Let's turn to the Lord. Let's, let's, let's be forgiven. And then let's remember this. Jesus, who is our substitute, is no fool. But he willingly entered the pit that we dug for ourselves with our folly. And he's, he's accomplished our redemption. Thank you, Lord, for our wise king, our glorious savior. We praise your name with great thanksgiving today. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings.